coherent and incoherent waves. Let us consider two light sources S1 and S2 are placed a distance d apart. Let the sources emit a light ray. In order to explain the coherent and incoherent waves, what I am going to do, I am going to consider a figure. So this is my figure where you can see I have two light sources S1 and S2. They are d distance apart and the sources S1 and S2 are emitting the light ray and these light rays are meeting at point P. Then we we can write the path difference is given as path difference is equal to S1 P difference S2 P. So in order to find the path difference what we are doing we are finding the difference between S1 P and S2 P. Now let us consider the displacement produced by the sources S1 and S2 is given as Y1 is equal to A cosine omega T and let that is our equation number 1 and y2 is equal to a cosine omega t and that is equation number 2. Then the resultant of the displacement at point p is given as y is equal to y1 plus y2 and if we substitute the value of y1 and y2 we will write y is equal to a cosine omega t plus a cosine omega t and if we simplify further we will get y is equal to 2a cosine omega t and let this is equation number 3. Now we know that the intensity is proportional to the square of the amplitude of the wave. So we will write I0 which is basically the initial intensity is proportional to A square where I0 is the initial intensity and A is the amplitude of the wave. If you remember from the equation 3 now the amplitude is 2A so we will write I is directly proportional to square of the amplitude which is basically 2A square. If we simplify, we will write I is directly proportional to 4A square. And we know that A square is I naught. So we will write I is equal to 4I0. So basically intensity I, which is basically the resultant intensity is equal to 4 times initial intensity. So I is equal to 4I0. Now let's consider our two cases. So our first case is constructive interference. So if two current sources S1 and S2 are vibrating in the same phase then the path difference is given as path difference is equal to S1 P minus S2 P and that will be N lambda where N is equal to 0 1 2 3 4 dash 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 and lambda is the wavelength of the wave. Now let's consider a second case which is destructive interference. So if two current sources S1 and S2 are vibrating and it's a destructive interference then the path difference is given as path difference is equal to S1 P minus S2 P and that is equal to N plus 1 over 2 lambda where N is equal to 0 1 2 3 4 dash 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 and lambda is the wavelength of the wave and this is how we will define the coherent and incoherent wave. 